Ukraine finally started doing what the European Union calls homework by adopting the national norms and legislation to Europe's aki communitaire. Within just one year, Ukraine passed, passed the whole set of laws that have been long overdue in terms of its European integration, starting with the law on state procurement, then uh, tax code, and ending with a long expected law on access to public information. Never in the nation's history was the government's w work as transparent and accessible for journalists as under this legislation, which, by the way, was introduced by the opposition. Under current administrative reform, the state apparatus face, faces up to 50% layoffs of public servants, an, an, an incredibly painful step the cabinet undergoes right now. Ukrainian government is undertaking economic reforms in order to increase efficiency of public sector management and improve investment climate. Ukraine business Ukraine's business environment is about to be profoundly liberalized. liberalized. Up to 90% of state-issued licenses for various entrepreneurial activities have been or are to be simply lifted. The cooperation with the IMF and the World Bank has been renewed. The GDP last year grew by 4.5%, and we all remember that in 2008, uh, in 2009, the GDP dropped by almost 15%. Uh, the outlook for 2011 is positive too. Successful modernization of Ukraine is impossible without combating corruption and increasing responsibility of state authorities. For the first time in Ukraine's history, influential uh, public figures from both the opposition and the government face investigation for committing corruption. For the first time the Ukraine's, in, in Ukraine's history, there have been open 360 criminal cases on the corruption charges against representatives of the current government. 166 of them at the senior level. The Ukrainian people are given a clear message. The law is equal for everybody and no one can be immune from prosecution if he committed crime. A level of political transparency in Ukraine is comparable to Western democracies. Open political and economic revelations on Ukraine's TV, internet and in the press is an indispensable part of the daily life of Ukrainian citizens. Ukraine's civil society is vibrant and vigorous, and it is successful when it comes to influencing a decision-making, what was the case during amending the tax code of Ukraine. We undergo the same modernization process in the field of foreign policy, which is becoming more pragmatic. The European integration remains to be a key foreign policy priority, but for the first time it also became a core of domestic reforms in Ukraine. We successfully uh, reset our relations with Russia. We do not pursue Russian-oriented policy, as one may put it. We are Ukraine-oriented and develop our relations on the basis of equality mutually beneficial cooperation, understanding, and respect. And uh, it seems to me yesterday my minister made a statement that Ukraine will not, is not going to, 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 to join the uh, custom union of uh, four countries. Uh, the strategic partnership with the United States develops in a good direction, what was confirmed by the third session of Ukraine-US Strategic Partnership Commission. Ukraine is open itself to the world and pursues a friendly, eager, and engaged policy towards all its partners, neighboring and distant. 
Ladies and gentlemen, democratic processes in Ukraine need internal consolidation of the Ukrainian society as well as wider international support. While undertaking systemic reforms in all fields of Ukraine's modernization, we rely on the assistance and expertise of our partners, including the United States. In this regard, the President and the Government of Ukraine is determined to continue a constructive dialogue not only with officials, but also with civil society organizations, both domestic and foreign ones. We rely on understanding and support of the Ukrainian-American community and all the Ukrainian diaspora. We attach an, important, an importance to such discussions and insights as you will have today. I believe that Ukraine's success will be our mutual success. Let me use this, this opportunity to thank you all for your attention to Ukraine and your contribution to Ukraine-US relations. Once again, I would like to thank the Washington Group, especially Mr. Andrei Bihun, and all organizations represented here for an excellent cooperation. I wish you a very fruitful and constructive discussion and to, at today's conference. Thank you, very, thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I apologize. I have to leave because uh, I have another commitments yet today. Thank you very much.